Jonathan. Hello. How are you? Very good. Thank Very you. Good. Um, can you take us back to your first meeting with Jeremy? Um, no, I don't remember it. It would have been one of many lectures um, at uni. I can remember um, starting a band with him, not, not this band. Um, we all had to make bands. We had like five minutes to start a band with people in this room. And uh, I knew he played the bass somehow. And, and a friend of ours was a guitarist and he said, you guys, you two come, come in my band. And uh, so we started off that way. Um, but uh, I didn't really get to know him for a while. We just played together to begin with and then slowly got to know him. I don't really remember. He might remember better. Okay. Um, what made you click musical-wise? Musical um, I think we, had, we came from the same type of background, kind of. Um, Meaning? Well, musically, I mean, we had the same influences, really. With Radiohead's the big one. The Beatles is the other big one. I think that's true for both of us. I think it's true for all of us in the band. Um, and also, around that time, 2004-ish, we were very into kind of post-rock, things like battles and that whole scene, um, sort of kind of like modern prog almost, or very sort of mathy. Yeah. Um, we were very into that, and we would go to quite a lot of fairly underground gigs um, in Manchester or in, in surrounding cities. We saw Foles before they were Foles. Um, uh, were, were they good? They were good, yeah. They had a different yeah. singer, actually, in those days. They had a, it wasn't Yanis singing. It was kind of a different band, but it was really good as well. Um, and we used to go to all these stupid sort of uh, almost metal gigs, sort of post-rock metal gigs, and that kind of... We started a band that was a bit like that as well. I was the drummer. Um, so, yeah, that was the kind of beginning of our uh, musical relationship, was what we first got together over was kind of post-rock stuff, yeah. And when, when did you actually, well, once you finally knew how he was as a person, mm. was it good? Yeah, absolutely. We, we, uh, we got on very well. We uh, used to get stoned a lot together. Okay. <laughs> um, well, you, 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 you both have degrees in popular music. Yes. Um, what can you do with it? You can... It sounds a bit silly when you first hear it, but you can do lots. I mean, you can, above all else, you can teach. Um, you can teach people how to play their instruments, all that kind of very practical stuff. But the course was actually popular music and recording. So we were taught a lot of um, production, how to record a band, how to sequence things, how to use software, microphones, um, video, you know, doing Foley for film. Um, recording for film, editing soundtracks, all sorts of uh, very practical stuff. But there was also all the theory side of things, you know, how music works, chords, scales, notes, time signatures, um, how classical music works, how pop music works, song structure, arrangements, history. Um, and also we were kind of forced to play with different groups of people that we wouldn't maybe choose to. Um, and that teaches you a lot about collaboration and about other types of music and how other kinds of music work. If do, do, do you have an example? Um, well, I was put into a, into a sort of, um, I guess you might call it a kind of gospel -y band. Um, and as a guy, the drummer was very much from the kind of church um, side of things and the sort of funky gospel -y side of things and so was the pianist and there was like and there was a sort of Italian guitar player who was loved Jimi Hendrix you know he was in the band and I was in the band and uh, and then like a trumpet player and it was just crazy but it you know it taught me a lot about that you know their different worlds and and collaboration and how to make something work um, when everyone's in different going in different directions what similarities you have and what's important about what's similar in all different musics you know there's, there's certain things that's always true and I think that, I didn't know that, you know, at the start I thought you must have Kurt Cobain, otherwise you can't have a band, you know, that's, yeah. what, that's how my mind was when I got to uni and I came out of it thinking, well, no, you can have a trumpet player and a sax player and a drummer and you, you can make something cool. You know? what, 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 what did you have all uh, in common with that band, the gospel band with the Italian guitar player? What, what? Um, I think there was a lot of attention to harmony in, uh, in gospel, it's really thick, rich 
harmonic world and rhythm as well. Um, not so much melody I found, it was more about chords and sort of modulation and stuff like that. Um, I, could never, I could never work out what, where, where we were going in that band. I was just playing over the top, you know. Um, and I loved, I loved the sort of richness of that.